What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Sam Shopping on Maximilian Must Know's channel. Um, these videos are of course sponsored by Decan Shop. We have three fragrances to look at today. And by the time you see this, the next haul of scents, which Adrian is sending me, which I believe is 20, should be in my hands. And we should I should be shooting videos for the next fragrances. And again guys, this only happens because Decan Shop sponsors my videos. And that only happens because you guys go out there, use coupon code MAX12, and buy fragrances. So without that, none of this happens. Decan Shop is the best place to get decant samples. Now decanting supplies of niche fragrances, designer fragrances, discontinued fragrances, uh, original formulation fragrances, just everything you could think of. And I want to tell you something really quickly that I've never thought of before. One of my friends who I sent to this place, he wrote me an email and he was like, Max, you know, what I really like about Decan Shop versus a place like Perfume Court or whatever is that Decan Shop I know those scents are good. And I was like, well, what do you mean you know those scents are good? He's like, well, I'm on Perfume Court or some of these other sites, and there's like 10,000 things. So it's like, I don't really know what to get. When I'm on Decan Shop, I have trust that the fragrances that they're adding are good. And that is a point that I think I haven't made on here, but that I've known for a long time, is that the curation of Decan Shop is stellar. You know, they don't just add stuff to add stuff because it's the hottest, newest thing. They add stuff that their customers want and that Adriana thinks will, will do well and people should want to wear. So that's something that you don't get that level of curation at other decant shops so please check them out please use coupon code max12 and buy some fragrances and remember you can always trade in for store credit or money uh, old fragrances that are sitting around and you're not getting any use of so we have three fragrances to look at today and then we'll be back next uh, the next couple weeks for more issue more episodes this is sort of becoming a weekly thing and that's great and that's because of the support you guys are showing Adriana so we're gonna start off today with a fragrance from the house of Kieko Mitch and this one is called Seville. Let me grab it. Um, we looked at Bois de Santal two weeks ago, and this is from the same line. This isn't from their more expensive bespoke line. These are like um, 75 ml for $150. And notes on this are Citrus uh, Lavendin of Luberon. I don't know if that's a joke, but that's actually the name. Oris, uh, Jasmine, Sambach, Suede, Virginia Tobacco, Cedarwood, Patchouli, Amber, and Vanilla. This is a 2013 release, and this one has gotten a lot of comparisons to 1 million by Paco Rabanne. And this is one of the only times in my experience that I think I found a designer house that beats the niche. And I don't think 1 million is the end all to be all. So for designer fragrance that I don't love to be better than a niche, well, that says a lot, I think. Um, I don't like this. I'm not impressed. I haven't been impressed with any of the Kieko Macheri scents that I've smelled. I've smelled this, Bois Santel, and Sidonia Blue. And I thought Bois Santel was a letdown. And I think, thought Sidonia Blue was really lame. And I don't like this one either. Um, I think this smells like something that could be sold at Sephora. Um, I, you know, I know this is at Min and Lucky Scent. But I, you know, I just have a hard time with someone who goes in there and walks out with this. I don't think that's wise. I just find this to be very basic and cookie cutter. Uh, you're not going to smell bad if you wear this. It's fruity. It's woody. A little spicy. But you're going to smell like a lot of other people. And if you want niche, you know, why pick this one? That, that's my opinion on uh, Seville. But... Uh, it's just me. Yeah, that's just me. Um, next up, we have a fragrance from one of my favorite houses. Uh, this is from Nasamano, and this is Duro. And I don't know if you guys know this, but the Nasamano project is ending soon. The owners, the two Alessandros, are going to make one more fragrance called Blamage under the Nasamano name and then shut down the line, and they're going to start their next product. And this one, Duro, has usual Nasamato pricing. Actually, a little price here. This one's 30 ml for 185, so the price of same price of Black Afghano. And notes on this are leather, woods, and spice. And this is a great scent. Uh, this is on my two buy list from Nasamato. But to be honest, um, it might come off a little generic. It's a beautiful, I think, oud and leather combo, but also very familiar to me. I'm not sure that you can't get the same sort of vibe at a cheaper price. You know, I think there's a couple of Montal fragrances that this reminds me of, including Red Oud. Uh, Red Oud's a bit more gourmand than this one, um, but uh, I think it's fairly similar, and that's 100 ml for 160, so you're getting a far better 
deal with that even though this is x straight to parfum concentration um this is a good scent i like this a lot it's just not a blow away um scent for me from Masamato. I, I like the two that i have absinthe and black afghano better uh finally for this week and this haul we have a feminine scent uh, from another favorite house of mine, this is from Serge Luton, and this is called Nuit de Cellophane. And that translates to Cellophane Night. This is a 2009 release. It retails for $130, but you can definitely find this cheaper on discount sites that carry Serge Luton fragrances. As of me filming this video, Beauty Encounter has this for $70, bucks, so very good deal there. And your notes on this are Mandarin, Chinese, Osmanthus, and Jasmine. And, um getting good way for this wow man that's all i could say about this one i mean what a gorgeous vibrant uh creamy really creamy white floral scent really surprised that this is a serge luton scent i'm used to more brooding heavier scents from them like fianagui and chuggy and musta kubla khan um and amber sultan but they really got this one right this is very graceful it's very pretty it's restrained it's crisp uh, it's very floral, certainly way too feminine for me, but for women, any woman who loves florals, uh, you've got to check this one out. This is really good. And if I was going to rank these, um, I'd go par, uh, Dura 1, um, uh, Nuit Cellophane uh, 2, and Keiko Micheri 3. The only one I plan on buying is Duro, uh, just to get another Nasamano. I think I want Duro and um china white and then i think i'm done with Asamano and, and, and i'll definitely try the new one blamish but uh that might be it uh wouldn't buy the service with tone myself but would recommend it and definitely wouldn't buy seville i think that's an insult to seville row uh to call this fragrance seville you want a real like uh you know like couture suit shop scent check out tutorial by pen Halligans and get rid of this guy um so thank you for watching this video we will, of course have a, a fragrance review this weekend and another episode of sample shopping next week i am maximilian please check out decan shop use coupon code max 12 and continue to support our our, our uh our do joint effort i'll see you guys very soon